Urshad, thank you for joining us today. You've developed healthcare technology tools for the insurance end of the business and and now for the last five years or so for medical practices, for dental practices. What would you say are the, the three or four elements of a healthcare technology uh, solution or tools that are must-haves, that have to be uh, ingrained in a good healthcare technology product? There are certain product traits that are applicable across any genre. So the first rule of product is when you're making any product, whether it's healthcare or not healthcare, it should be solving a problem that users define, not something that a product manager defines themselves. So create a product that solves an actual problem. The second thing, or the most important thing is you need to create a product that meets the user where they are. You know, let me explain this. What I mean by this is when we are building healthcare products, we are building for a patient base, which is as young as 15 year old all the way to you know 70 year old. So we need to ensure that the UX is so easy that any patient can you know find it very easy to use. And then to add a couple of other things, uh, now one is we need to ensure that the new product is part of their existing workflow. So if you're creating a product and it's only a point solution that stays away from their current workflow, it's very high, very, very hard to get adoption. But if you create a product which is part of their workflow, then it becomes very easy for the users to adopt. And then the final point or the most important find for healthcare is patient data. You know, we need to ensure that the patient data is protected at all the time. Looking ahead, what do you think healthcare practices are going to really need out of a technology product in the next year, three years, five years? What's on the horizon? What are you seeing in terms of what you're doing? First of all, you know, the whole digital transformation that is happening, that was happening for the last five years, I feel it's significantly accelerated during COVID. And I expect that to continue. So we will see high adoption of telehealth and text messaging. One problem that I'm really working on right now is phones. So generally when anyone calls practice phones, they are either on hold because the front office is helping someone else or they are directed to voicemail because the front office is busy with something else. And then when anyone leaves any message on voicemail, it takes at least a day or two days just to respond to that voicemail. So we are coming up with a new product where we can help the front office reduce, you know, reduce some of the phone calls, preferably deflect some of the phone calls to text. That way, if a patient prefers text messaging, they always have an option to text rather than leaving a voicemail. Specifically, the patient pop platform, which aspects of the platform right now uh, are bringing the most benefit to practices and to patients. Um, what what aspects of our technology platform seem to be the most meaningful and uh, the most productive for healthcare practices? I think the, the first thing unique about patient pop is it's not a point solution. It's a completely integrated solution. And we integrate with the EMR, so there's no point, no additional work for the front office. Now, one tool or one product that I request all practices to enable is online scheduling. Patients want to book at their convenience. And for some patients, it can be middle of the night. You need to allow them to book the appointment at that time. So I encourage every all the practices to enable online booking. The second being intake form. As soon as a patient books the appointment, you want to collect their insurance information. You want to collect everything that you want to know about the patient at that particular time. Now, the obvious benefit is when the patients come for a visit, you're not waiting for patient to then give you insurance information to call the insurance company. You can call the insurance company a day before the appointment. That way, it's very easy for the patient. The third thing being appointment reminders. Uh, we have automated appointment reminders that we send you know, a day before the appointment as well as on the day of the appointment. We need practices to use that feature rather than having their front office manually calling people or manually texting people for appointment reminders. And then the last is patient is completely in charge. And if patients prefer a telehealth visit, you should offer a telehealth visit. And then in the end, you know, I, I feel like there is this massive push towards text messaging. You know, that's another feature that practices can use right now to become more efficient.